chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video everybody smash that like button smash that share button don't forget to subscribe all right because we back at you again with another one all right shout out to the chosen vessels shout out to the galactic family and salute to drew nation because we back at it again let's get right into it shall we just because you made a mistake doesn't give them the right to treat you however they feel like it you got some people out here that think they can treat anybody any kind of way however they want just because something happened the way they didn't think it should have have you ever heard of a mistake all right some people feel that oh, if you're so great how can you make a mistake look people make mistakes nobody is perfect but when it's you, empath, when it's you, light being, when it's you, star seed, when it's you, chosen one, all right, they're going to take it out harder on you than it was if it was one of them. Because you have to remember, you're not in the club. I remember trying to be friends with people like, yo, can I get in the club or am I, am I in the club? I knew it was some type of disassociation between me and them. Even that when I was three, four or five years old, I knew they weren't my friends. I knew I didn't fit in. I knew I didn't get along with them. I always had more fun by myself anyway, especially away from them going out to play and 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 being upset and and and, and feeling feeling bad about myself and then getting away from people. And then I feel better. All right. So you have to realize that there are some people that aren't going to play fair. Some people just don't play fair, all right? Some people just do not play fair. They don't feel they need to treat you as good as they treat themselves or other people. But it's because you got a lot going on. It's because you're popping. It's because you're, you're, you're the best thing yet, all right? It's because you're the greatest. And they have some, anim it's because you're the greatest and they hate it. They have animosity towards you because your life is going to be better than theirs. All right, you are a life, you are a life millionaire. When it comes to your life, all right, people would be standing in line for as long as they possibly could if they could get a cop carbon copy of your life. All right, people would people would just like they wait for Yeezy shoes, just like they wait for Jordans, just like they wait for the new Xbox, uh, uh, Q Pox, B Box, all right, whatever they out there waiting for. The next thing that's coming out, that's how bad people would 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 want your life if they could have it. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm telling you, all right, people want your life so bad. That's what all these narcissistic stares and glares are for. That's what all the intimidation tactics are for. They want you to hate being you. You're so great at being you. They want you to hate being you. You're so great being you. They want you to hate being you. Yes, it's true. All right. It's very true. They want you to hate being you because you're great at being you. All right, just because you made a mistake doesn't give them the right to treat you any way they want. All right, they think that they could talk to you any way they want. They think they could treat you any way they want. They're in for a rude awakening. You, they got to talk to you with some respect. All right, you don't got to get loud. All right, just stare, yo, stare at them dead in the face and just don't say nothing. That 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 makes some people poop they they self. All right, when when you when you are unmoved. When you don't let the things that people do move you, they start to get they start to become afraid because they know that you're you're stronger than them. You're stronger than their attitude. You're stronger than their negativity. And you're not going to let any of it affect you. All right. You're 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 past the, the uncomfortable stage. You don't grew past that. It's all that's over with. All right. Everybody feels uncomfortable as at some point in time. But you have to come to the point where it's like yo am i just gonna keep feeling uncomfortable and let people take advantage of me and let people treat me any kind of way or am i gonna just deal with the uncomfortable the uncomfortability of life and just just stand firm be solid and 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 keep it 100 because at some point you gotta stand firm keep it solid and keep it 100 because people gonna walk all over you people gonna think they could just treat you any type of way and disrespect you any kind of way and deal with you any kind of way and you don't have to you don't have to be the toughest person in the world to make people do that. All you have to do is be tough minded. All right. You have to become tough minded. You have to know that God gave you everything that he gave anybody else. And there's nothing missing from you. All right. Some people 
were were jealous of you and they didn't want you to have a positive idea about yourself. So you may not have been given the, the full uh, details on how to deal with certain individuals and certain people because people wanted to have power over you. And partially also because a lot of empaths, right, they have they learn things a, a, a little later and they learn how to deal with people a little different because of their energy. All right. They have to go through certain things. They have to go through knowing not to give certain energy to certain people because they'll get taken advantage of. They have to learn that uh, acting like this is going to make people think that they could walk all over you. You can't just be nice to everybody. You can't just show your certain side to everybody because not everybody deserves to see that side of you. Not everybody deserves that good that good guy that good girl that good man that good woman not everybody deserves that all right some people deserve your your ass to kiss okay but we don't even do that we don't even give them that because we know that we we got to stay on good graces with the lord we got to stay on good terms with god all right we we out here trying to manifest us a house we ain't worried about these people out here uh trying to manifest them some mouth all right they manifesting just a mouth just running their mouth just running their damn mouth all right just shut up will you all right just be quiet because you don't really care what they have to say you're so focused on so many good positive things they have to come your way with some negativity. They realize that you're better off by yourself. They realize that you're not the type of person to engage them and get involved and get sucked in or get baited in to, to what they have to offer. Just to straight toxicity, straight toxicity, all right? And when, when you make a mistake, they feel they could treat you any kind of way, all right? There are people out there that are used to talking to people any kind of way, and they think that just because this is who they are, that the world is supposed to accept them as that. And especially if they if they have a personal view of you, they feel that you're just supposed to accept them as any type of way they present themselves to you or any type of way they offer themselves to you. And this just not the case. That's not the way things go. And you don't have to you don't have to get like them or get rude or get in your angry bag just to let them know that you're not going to accept that type of behavior. You can stand firm, stay solid, keep them 100, stay in your square and not allow anybody to rule you or rouse you. And, and you don't even have to say nothing. You don't even have to respond to the foolishness. They can get angry. They can get mad. They can slam stuff. They can catch an attitude all they want. All right. But if they, if they keep going, they'll get, they eventually will get what they asked for. So, and nobody's going to take it further than that. When you keep yourself calm and confident, don't nobody mess with somebody that keep a straight face and that stay calm. Because if you're able to do that, they know you mean business because you're in control of yourself and you're well-reserved. People don't mess with people that are in control of themselves and well-reserved. They think twice about it if they do. So what you have to realize is that I'm just going to stay poised. I'm just going to stay serene. I'm just going to stay calm. All right. I made this mistake. I did something wrong. I'm, I'm going to own up to it. If they can't just move on, if they can't just let it go, then if they're going to take it further than me giving a response, me giving an apology, me owning up to the mistake, if they're going to take it further than that, I have to let it go because I'm not going to allow this petty ass situation or this petty ass person to try to take me to their, their state, take me to the level that they're at. People have a lot more going on than meets the eye and they want to bring you down and they want to make you feel bad about yourself because you don't. All right. There's a lot of people who have things going on in their life that they wish they didn't. And there are a lot of people who wish they could swap lives with you and trade lives with you. And the fact that they can't, they're mad. So what they're going to do is they're jealous of you because you have peace. They're jealous of you because you have free time. They're jealous of you because you're doing what you want with your life. And you're not afraid of what people think of you and how people look at you. And you're not afraid of how people are going to judge you. They wish they had the balls and the ovaries and the courage to go after what you're going after in life. Going after uh, the, the choices that you're deciding to make and the decisions you're, you're, you're choosing to take with your life. You're taking the road less traveled. You got goals. You have dreams. You're infatuated with nice things. You just want to be successful. All right. And people are hating on you because, you know, you know, deep down inside that you could be successful. You can have your dream. 
all right? And you're, that's all you're focused on. You don't care what they have to say. You don't care what he has to say, she has to say, we have to say. All you're focused on is what God has for you and what you know you can get out of life with your life. And that pisses people off because you're not stuck in the matrix. You're not giving up. All right. You're 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 you got a different energy. You got a different attitude. You got a different outlook on life. All right. You're you're optimistic. All right. You're a positive, optimistic person. You look at things as half full, not half empty. You look at things like things are going to get good. Things are going to get better. You don't just see things as a pile of dookie. All right. There are people out there that's that sell horse manure because they, they somebody found out that you could use it to grow crops. All right, somebody was like, oh, you you just going to leave that horse poop right there? You ain't going to do nothing with that horse poop? Okay, word. I'm going to take that horse poop and turn it into some money. Horse manure, horse manure, horse manure, $5 a bucket, $5 a bucket. Like if somebody sees somebody sees coal, somebody else sees diamonds. All right, somebody else sees sand, somebody else sees I could turn this into some glass. I could make art cups, plates, uh, 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 storage containers, windows, I, I, like there are people that will take a bad situation. They'll take lemons and make lemonade. All right. There are some people that they just cry, complain, and that's all they'll ever do is just complain and whine. They are upset. They're never going to be positive. They're never going to make any positive changes in their life. They're just always going to complain. And that's why their life is always going to stay the same. And then when they get out into the real world and they see people making changes, they see people making their life better. They see people making a positive difference in their life and others. They feel some type of way because they're not able to do the same thing and nothing positive is happening in their life. And it's like they're trying to do the same thing as you. They're trying their hardest. They're trying their best. They're dressing like you. They're copying you. They're um, doing everything that you do, trying to eat like you, trying to be like you. They're doing everything. And it's still not it's still not creating the same effect. They're walking like you, talking like you, all right, carrying themselves like you. And, and, and they're not getting the same results in life as you. All right. And it's, 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 it's hurting some people because all they got to do is be themselves, be happy, make some positive choices, know that the best has yet to come, know that anything good or anything great could come into their life if they really wanted it to. But a lot of people, they a lot of people are scared to have a mindset like this because they know that this is the road less traveled. When you have a positive mindset, you get attacked. When you have a positive mindset and you don't just give in and accept the world mind, you have people, you have Agent Smiths that will come out and try to pull you back down into the matrix because you ascend to different levels when you when you stay positive and you don't let the world mind bring you down. You don't let the trials and tribulations of this world bring you down. That's why God tests you with all these things. All right, it's to refine you like fine gold in, in a furnace. All right, it's to put enough pressure on you so you turn into a fine diamond. The stuff that you go through, anybody else that would have went through it, who knows what their fate would have been. Because the things that you've went through with friends, family, coworkers, relationships, like you've been through it all. And there's, 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 there's really not much that you can't withstand. All right. And people want to try. That's why everybody's trying to try you. All right. They have to come try to, to uh, po- poke the, the circus animal because that's how they see us. They see us as circus animals. They see you as a lion in a cage. So they have to come mess with the lion. They have to come make you show your teeth. All right. They have to see if you're going to bite them or not. And they know that you're a chill, relaxed person. They know that they can only push you, but so far, but they have to test you. They have to try you. They have to see if they can get off their attitude to boost their ego, to make them feel good about themselves. All right. They, they don't work on themselves to feel better. So they have to take their good vibes. They have to take their good feelings. They have to take when they can feel good about themselves, feel an accomplishment, feel achieved whenever they can, however they can. And this is just how low vibrational people make it through life and and skate through life and and feel good about themselves because everybody needs self-esteem. Everybody needs an ego boost, right? But the thing is, you, you sh- you're supposed to boost your ego and go about it in a way to where it's not taxing or or uh, stressing to others. All right, you're supposed to work on yourself to where you get positive reinforcement and positive uh, a comp- positive um, confirmation from your accomplishments in life. 
not stealing the show, not make, putting others down to lift yourself up. All right, they just ha they have it backwards, and that's why they're evil. All right, they have it backwards. They feel they need to put people down instead of lift people up. All right, you're the type of person that would lift someone up. You're the type of person that will congratulate someone. I hear them footsteps or whatever, whatever it is, deer, whatever you may be. I hear you. All right. You are the type of person that lifts people up. You're the type of person that's a positive spirit. And not a lot of people are like that. People have to destroy those people. They have to. All right. They have to try to destroy positive people because you make them feel insecure and you make them feel like a bad person. You make them feel like they shouldn't exist. You make them feel and realize that there are things that are wrong with them that they need fixing. Everybody has things that are wrong with them that need fixing, but not people who feel that you can tell them no, uh, that, that, that they're doing anything wrong. Not that people you can tell that they're uh, not doing anything right. All right. They feel they do no wrong. So you can't tell them that they're not right or they're never right. They always feel they're right. So people like this, when you, when you, when you make a mistake, is it's going to really be a problem because they're going to look at it like, how dare you make this mistake against me? How dare you do this uh, thing wrong to me? I don't deserve to have anything done wrong to me. I don't deserve to have this type of treatment from the likes of you. All right. They're really going to drive it on home. They're not going to just let you accept the fact that, OK, I did this. Let me just fix it and move on. No. They want you to feel this. They want this to be a huge problem for you. They want this to be something that you fret over, something that you worry about. All right. They want to put you in a negative mind state. And that's how you know they're evil, because all evil is is just living backwards. People who don't know how to handle situations, people who don't know how to communicate and they don't want to learn. They just want to stay in a, they just want to keep it toxic keep it drama filled, keep it negative. All right. These are people that don't grow in life. All right. These are people that belong on the Maury show. These are people who belong on Jerry Springer. They probably watch these types of shows. Everybody watched this show when they were a kid. But once I realized that I was responsible for the type of information that I put in my head and for the things I watched, I stopped watching this type of stuff because I'm like, at some point, my vibration let me know. I'm like, yo, I can't be watching this. This is low vibrational. Something told me that I'm like, yo, this is garbage, man. I don't need to be watching this. And I just wouldn't watch it. And then when I would watch people watch it, the type of people that would watch it were the type of people, number one, that were on the show because you are what you feed your, your mind. All right, whatever you feed your mind, that's what you are. You watch Jerry Springer, you're going to be those characters on that show. All right, so you got to watch people who watch shows like that. All, all they're putting out in these shows is narcissism ways of um, trying to uh, uh, teach these these narcissistic kids how to be real evil and diabolical and demonic and shifty and shady and manipulative. That's all these sh shows will teach you is how to be a better manipulator because they got the person on there manipulating everybody that everybody's uh, worshiping and bowing down to. And then when people don't um, bow down to that person and worship that person, that's where all these fights happen. And that's where all uh, the, uh, that's where people end up having a problem with the uh, other cast members or the other people on the show, right? So it is what it is. You are what you feed your mind. I don't watch those particular shows because I'm aware of whatever I feed my mind. That's what I am. Whatever I think all day long, that's what I'm going to be. Proverbs chapter three, verse seven. As a man thinketh, so is he, all right? So when people make mistakes and people have a problem with it, people are going to, if they haven't healed, if they haven't worked on themselves, people are going to treat you how they've been treated. So you have to have some understanding and you have to have some wisdom. So that way you won't take these types of issues personal. Don't ever take these types of things personal. When somebody comes off and thinks they could treat you some type of way, they really honestly don't know what they're doing. They don't know who they're speaking to and they don't know the repercussions of their actions. All right. Number one, they're going to end up receiving karma and suffering for what they said or what they did to you. Number two, they're not healed. All right. Because someone has spoke to them like this and they're just out in the world thinking that this is how you treat people because they learned this from somebody growing up. All right. This is how somebody treated them. Somebody misused them, abused them. And now they feel that they could go out to the world and talk to other people like this. They're basically what we would have been if we didn't work on ourselves. But we took the route of self 
um, self-education and we knew that it would be better for us to be healed individuals instead of hurt individuals. All right. So you have to, you, you, the whole mission is to work on yourself to become a healed individual. So that way you won't be a hurt individual because hurt people hurt people and you don't want to be out here uh, bringing the worst out of people. All right. Nobody's perfect. We all have bad days, but it's not cool to just treat anybody any type of way because you feel like it and because you want to just treat this person bad. All right. There are people who just want to treat you bad. They're just out to treat people bad. There are people out here that just like treating people like crap because that's who they are. And that's why you shouldn't try to change people because you're not going to change these people. But one thing you can change is how you how people treat you by not accepting certain treatment and certain behavior, certain things you don't even have to respond to. You don't you, you can act like this person is not even talking to you because anybody that talks to you in a way that you wouldn't accept, they're not talking to you. All right. And they like, oh, I know you're not talking to me and you don't even got to say that. All that's going to do is cause more drama. You don't have to feed into that at all. Oh, I know this person ain't talking to me. Start doing something else. Take your phone out. Pull out a book. Uh, turn your phone on. Watch a video. Turn on one of my videos. It'll piss them off. All right, when you don't get upset and get mad like people want you to, it pisses them off. They tried to get you upset. They tried to rile you up. You didn't let them. You won in that situation. Now they're looking stupid and, and walking around mad because they didn't get their, 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 their mission is unaccomplished. They did not accomplish their mission by trying to upset you, piss you off, ruin your day, make you mad because they was mad. All right. When people are mad about something, they're going to want you to be mad about it, especially people who don't work on themselves, who take out how they feel on other people. All right. Primarily narcissistic people or people with narcissistic personality. So they feel they can treat people any type of way and people are just supposed to accept it and not care and not have any say about how um, the, the type of treatment that they're accepting because that's just them. Oh, she needs more love or or he needs more love or oh, that's just Bob or that's just Jim or that's just Susie or that's just Sally. That's just Mark. Like, no, screw that. They need to just be a different person because they're being a bad, they're being a rude person. They're being a bad person. And I'm not going to let them be bad to me. So you can let them be bad to you all you want. All right, they're going to have to take that bad stuff someplace else because we, if you want to get bad, we can get bad. But don't let people get bad with you. All right. Don't let people get bad with you. And if you don't let them get bad with you, then they can't. All right. Ignore people. Act like they don't exist. Take your mind off of them. Do something else. And... They'll either smell like somebody hit a skunk or something. They'll either find something else to do or they'll stop because they'll see that what they're doing is not getting to you like they thought. All right. So once they realize that their power is gone, once they realize that what they're doing has no effect on you, they're going to stop. All right. They're like kids with toys. Once they see that there's nobody to play, they don't like playing with themselves. They don't have a strong enough a uh, creative enough mind to play by themselves. So what they'll do is they get bored and then they'll leave you alone and then I'll have to find something else to do and find somebody else to harass because whoever is willing to give them the negative energy, whoever's willing to com give them their confirmation of their attitude, of their uh, uh, pessimism, then that's who they're going to engage with. That's who they're going to keep uh, throwing their stuff at because that's who is sticking is sticking with it they're throwing their stuff at this person and it's sticking don't let them uh when they throw their stuff at you don't allow it to stick all right ignore them block them gray rock them all right mentally block these people you know how you block people on your phone when you don't feel like dealing with somebody you mentally block people now all right that's the new thing are we mentally blocking people for the whole rest of this year and on forward? People start acting in ways you don't like. People start doing things you don't like. The people you don't like try to come around and, and be clowns because they know you don't want them around. Just mentally block them. Like, okay. That's how you're going to play it. I'm going to mentally block you. Because we give people power through the power of our own mind. And if we, once we realize how powerful our mind is, we take uh, our power back from them and they become powerless. All right. So make sure you're making these people powerless because just because somebody made a mistake doesn't give them the right to treat you 
any way they feel like it. It's okay that you made a mistake. It's okay that you didn't do something right. They may try to talk to you crazy. They may have tried to break it down in a way that's not beneficial or that's not going to get them what they want just so they could feel more powerful than somebody. And that's how you know they're narcissistic. Instead of working out the problem or the situation, they rather use this as a time for them to be devilish and demonic so they could go and feel like, yeah, I'm this big bad person. Yeah, I'm this tough person. When they ain't. They ain't. They not that. They not. They not that. They not. Ain't nothing tough about them. They're fragile. They got a, a big ego, and they're they they're, they're uh, people who like to act like they're bigger than they aren't. It's like the cartoon when you see the uh, little lion, and it's trying to act like the grown lion, or you see the puppy, and it's trying to act like a big scary dog. It's just like that. They're trying to act scary. They're trying to act tough, but they aren't. So what do they have to do? They have to try to find somebody that won't. They have to find somebody that they know is not going to give them what they want. But at the same time, it's a competition for them to try to get what they want from you, if you get what I'm saying. So with that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessel. Shout out to the Galactic Family. Salute to Drew Nation. Everybody hit that like button. Hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay focused on you so that way you'll be able to uh, continue to have a positive day. I'll see you all later.